What are they teaching? Even when we are letting our leaders, let us also put them to test. What have they done to us? And what are they doing now? So that we can be able to see the benefit of them whom we want to follow. What makes us follow them? Actually, the disciples are struggling to ask Jesus, you know, we want to understand. You know, even when we, where you are taking us, we want to understand fully. Ata ikomo nasema baba, goma ya baba, wapi uyo baba, atuja muona. The problem we have is that uh, we normally present sermons that no questions. Uh, I, I, I think we need to establish more Bible studies where people can ask questions. Because uh, we normally hide it by, you know, uh, you, you, you present a sermon and then everybody goes and they clap. Hata kama haja clap, unambia mkeni mupigia yesu makofi. Lakini saa singine, ni weo unataka makofi siyo yesu. There is nothing devastating as being in a journey that you don't know where you are headed. It is so sad. Because the moment you discover you have lost all your time, you have lost all the opportunities, you have lost all the targets. So, as Levi says, progress is when you stop and ask yourself, am I still on track? And until you are assured you are on track, is where we can say we are progressing. Even as a country, let's ask ourselves, are we on track? Even with the whole discussion of the budget making, and the quest people are saying about the taxes, you know, we have to ask ourselves, is that the right thing to do? Are we on track? Will that give us the right, uh, you know, the, the, the right uh, results? So that if we find it may not give us the right results, it becomes, the, the progress will be, we stop and say, how do we move forward? Uh, I've also been calling our leaders. I know you make heavy promises during campaign. And we knew most of them were unrealistic. For sure. I used to remind, don't, don't think that, because if, if you follow the promises of all the Simeon and Kenya Kwanza at that time, it was like, whichever wins, by October, Kenya looked like a little heaven. Because the promises were so heavy that everything is sorted out. So, it is now a moment to face the truth. Just come out and tell Kenyans, the promises we made are unrealistic. Now let's go to prioritization. This is our priority number one. Priority number two, put aside until we get enough, then we can now go to priority number two. But if we try to push, you know, uh, to achieve what we promised, and we all know that we have nothing to, 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 to deliver the promises, then you are going to break everybody's back. You will even break your back, struggling to make happen what you know it can happen. So let us just humble ourselves, face the moment of truth, and say, This is how we look like. We have to live within our means. Now we are going to reschedule our promises. Some are going to the next term or the other term because we can't deliver now. The priorities for this term are this and this and that and we can be able to manage our country's affairs in a better way. Sidiki Malisa, how about Malisa? The problem we have in this life journey is also knowing too much. If we think we know everything and we have the answer to everything, then we become insincere to ourselves and we can drive ourselves and others to a big loss. So let us also accept that uh, there is a moment I can be directed or counseled or advised as the Archbishop. I don't pretend to my bishops that I know everything. There are moments I tell them, you know, Hapa, Wandugu, Nataka idea. Let's get somebody with a better experience. In this area, I am incapacitated. Someone take it over. And then we can be able to, to do good. So even us as leaders, let us not think we have every answer to every problem. Let us put ourselves in the trajectory of discovering and learning and knowing and give ourselves what we call, the English people call, the benefit of doubt. That we can also say, 
you know, I didn't know beforehand, now I know better. Najua kuna wakati unaona ulikuwa unafikiri unajua lakini saa hiyo ndio unajua unaanza kujua haujui sana. And my professors will tell me here that even in research you don't go from the point of view of knowledge of what you're going to deliver as a, the, 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 you know, the, the recommendation of your thesis. You have to begin by doubt and uh, you now get into study, get into discovery, and let me tell you, the more you think you know, as you study, the more you discover you know very little. The more you discover you know and understand very little. So, uh, let us be truthful to ourselves that we are all in a lifelong learning journey. Let us learn and progress with the learnings and the outcomes of our learning.